Okay, let's take a look at the Nike Wild Horse 6 trail running shoe, shall we? Okay, so the Nike Wild Horse 6 is Nike's newest trail running shoe. They've updated this from the Wild Horse 5 and they've done a hell of a job updating it because pretty much everything is new. There's not much that carries over at all. So it's got a new tongue, it's got the new ankle collar, it's got a Nike React midsole, which it tells you there. And it's also got these new outsole, which has the anti-abrasion rubber here and here. And then it also has their like super sticky rubber for the midsole here. Also, it has a new breathable upper, it has this new overlay to protect your toes and what they call the utility tab at the back. So yeah, a lot of new tech on this shoe. This shoe comes in at £105, which I think is a really, really good price for this shoe. It has an offset of 8mm and it weighs... I've got to check the laptop. <laughs> And it weighs 298 grams for the men's and 256 grams for the women's. Okay, so the first thing that I really like about this shoe is the width of the toe box. I think it's really good, especially on trails. I find sometimes that a narrow toe box on a trail shoe is just not very stable. You can't get the traction you want, but this has a very wide toe box, which I think is great. I have seen online that some people say that this shoe is a little bit short. So for me, I'm a size eight, this is a size eight shoe. I'm really happy with the fit of it. However, a lot of people online have said that this comes in a little bit short, so they get half a size up. That might be worth bearing in mind. But for me, I found that it's pretty true to size. So the second thing I like, just following on from that toe box, is this tret. I just think it's really good. The lugs are really deep, it's very durable. I think it's a little bit odd having the sticky rubber in the midsole rather than maybe a bit further up in the forefoot where you would grip. But overall, yeah, I think it's a really, really good tread. It does seem to bind really well. I've used this in lots of technical trails. That's what we have around the UK. I mainly run on coast paths. So for me, it's lots of just constant up and down, up and down, up and down with really technical bits some quite sloppy mud. And these do seem to bind quite well. If you run through some really sloppy mud and then get these onto rocks, you can, it's, it's not great, which is why I would prefer it if this sticky rubber was a bit further up. I think you'd get a little bit better grip, but overall pretty good and really happy with them. So yeah, the tread on these is great. So my third like is the midsole. The Nike React midsole is brilliant. We know this from other shoes. A lot of their road shoes have the React midsole in and it's really, really good. On sloppy, wet trails, you're not gonna notice it massively, but if you're on firm trails, you, you do notice it. And the other benefit of that midsole is that if you're running on the road to get to your trails, you can do it in these, absolutely no problem. When I first bought these, it, the idea was not to run on the road, but then a couple of mates got in touch and they were like, oh, we wanna do this route. It's about 18 miles, 13 miles on trail, the rest is on road. And I was like, oh, okay, maybe I'll uh, put a spare pair of shoes in. I decided not to in the end and ran it in these and actually I was really present, pleasantly surprised. Super happy with how they performed. And I was running them and just thought, well, to be honest, if I was at a push, I could probably use these on the road. If I wanted to go out, my shoes were knackered or something like that, or I, I don't know, for some reason I couldn't use my road shoes, I would happily go out. The only thing with using these on the road a lot is you are gonna wear down these lugs very quickly. They are durable, but they're designed for trails. They're not designed for the road, but you could get away from it. They're designed for ultras, these shoes. So if you are doing an ultra and there is a little bit of tarmac in that, go with these, they're, they're, they're really good. You're not gonna have to change shoe. So that's a really nice feature with these. So then my last like for these shoes is just this overlay around here. I really like it. Here in the UK we have lots of trails that have lots of loose rock and some stones and things like that. And I often find in other shoes that one of the biggest problems I have is kicking up stones with one foot and then as I bring the other foot through, booting them. And it really hurts your toes. <laughs> 
So this just they just ping off. It's brilliant. You can just uh, yeah, you can pretty much run through anything with that, and it's just it's just enough. That's what's nice about it is it's just enough to repel those rocks, but it doesn't impact too much on the breathability here. So you still get really good breathability with this shoe, and it works really well. Not too much overheating in them either. That's a that's a really good plus point is because they've designed that well and they've got these extra breathable bits in, the breathability is really good and you can keep pretty cool in these shoes. So let's talk quickly about a couple of dislikes for this shoe because I do have a couple. There's a couple of annoying points, I think. So the first one is this ankle collar. It just bugs me. It is quite good at keeping debris out, which is nice, but I find when putting the shoe on and off, it just gets in the way. There's just something about it. You put your foot in and it pulls on your socks and rucks your socks up and I just find it really annoying. And this utility tab is useless. I should just get rid of this. I just can't see any point of it. Actually, I've had that snag on some things before. Like when going down a descent, I've had it like snag on a rock. I'm surprised it didn't rip off, but yeah, that caught was just a bit annoying. But mainly this ankle, collar just just a little bit annoying it also seems too loose for debris and things like that i'm just i just probably rather it wasn't there so then the second thing is the weight of the shoe it's pretty heavy especially in the heel there's a lot of thick rubber around here because this midsole carries on all the way to the back here in this heel counter there's a lot here so if you're going down a very steep descent and you're digging in on your heels, it's not the most stable, it feels quite heavy, it kind of drags you down a little bit. If you're on something really technical and you do need to pick up your feet really quickly, it's just not the best, especially being sort of so back heavy that you do want something that's just a little bit lighter, just throws you onto your forefoot so you can kind of just like dance across the rock sort of thing. But yeah, it's, it's not super heavy that it's gonna be a real problem, but it's just a bit annoying and you can notice it sometimes. And then my last dislike is actually just the heel counter itself. Because the React midsole carries on all the way through, when you are descending, it's a little bit wobbly sometimes. The stability is not great. You can kind of like plant your heel, but then you kind of like rock a little bit. The midsole holds very well and with the laces and it's got this padding on the tongue for the laces so that they don't dig into your foot because it is a very thin tongue. But I just find the, the combination of this really heavy, big sort of heel counter and outsole doesn't hold you in place very well. The stability can be a little bit off sometimes. And if you step onto some ground that's slightly cambered, you can really sort of slip, well not, you know, slip out of the shoe, but you kind of really feel the upper shift a little bit, which is a little bit of a shame because it does retract from the stability of this shoe. So I would say that if you're doing something really, really technical, a trail that you're, especially if it's really wet, and it's a trail that you know is really hard, a lot of descending, really tricky descents, this may not be the shoe for you. If you're a beginner trail runner and you're just looking to get out on some easier trails, you're probably more of a fair weather trail runner, this is a really good shoe for you. And especially if you're going like really long distance, this is quite good because that Nike midsole is, is pretty perfect for that. It, it really does help for the long ride with these ones. So overall, I think it is a good shoe and I would recommend it to a lot of people, which is great. And especially at 105 pounds, if you look at a lot of the Salomon shoes, they're all over 160 pounds. So for 50 pound off, and especially as Nike do lots of sales and you can like keep your eye out, and maybe get 25% off or something like that. This shoe is coming in really cheap and it's gonna last you a long time. It's really durable. It's just, just a really, really good shoe, I'd say. There are some problems with it obviously like the the collar and and the heel counter but they're they're annoying little niggles they're not massive upsets it's not something that i've sort of been running and gone oh i need to get this shoe off i need to run in something else this is a problem it's just something that when you're running i just think like oh, i just wish that was a little bit a little bit more stable and the the whole ankle collar thing is more that I get to a trail and then I go to put these shoes on and then I spend five minutes faffing around making sure it's comfortable and I just don't want that whereas with a lot of the other shoes that I wear 
you just stick them on, tie them up, and yeah, you're out the door, and that's that's nice. That's exactly what you want. You don't want to be faffing around, just like moving the tongue and moving the collar, and then tightening and loosening, and yeah, it's just a bit of a faff, which is a little bit annoying. But there we go. So yeah, overall, a really good shoe. I think, especially if you're a beginner trail runner, I think these are a really wonderful shoe for that. But yeah, a good shoe. Check them out. If you guys are running these drop me a comment let me know what you think i'd really be interested to see what you guys think of these shoes personally i do think they're a really good shoe if you do like this sort of content please consider subscribing to the channel i'm going to do a lot more shoe reviews and running pack reviews i've got some salomon packs that i'm going to review and things like that and just generally be talking a lot more about running especially ultra running because that's really what i'm getting into at the moment I do have a challenge going at the moment, which is running 100 miles, towing a drum kit. It's all for the amazing charity, which is Cardiac Risk in the Young. So if that interests you, seeing me attempt to run 100 miles, towing a drum kit, which weighs 100 kilograms, by the way, then yeah, please subscribe to the channel because I'm uploading weekly training videos. They go up every Saturday around about half six. <laughs> I mean, sometimes earlier, sometimes later. If that's the sort of content that you want to see, please consider subscribing to the channel. I'd love to have you along. Drop me a comment, like the video. I'd love to chat back and forth about these shoes. If you have run in them, let me know what you think about them. And yeah, enjoy running on some nice trails, especially over the wet winter that we're about to have in the UK in some wildfire sixes. That'd be good for you. Cheers guys, see you in the next one.